Hey guys, Emily back from Signpost Destinations. Today is day four of our virtual vacation. And today we are down in the Lower Keys, uh, the northern part of the Lower Keys, which is known as the Natural Keys. And once again, we're welcoming Markham back uh, from Florida down in Key West. And he's gonna help us uh, today talk about the Natural Keys a little bit. So, hey Markham, welcome back. Thank you. All welcome right, back. so what yeah. can you tell us about the Natural Keys? Oh boy, <laughs> well. The natural key. So this would be essentially what we refer to as, um, and it is, it's very natural. It's our sort of a refuge area, big pine key and the lower keys right before between marathon and key West. Mm -hmm. So it's this whole area out here and you're getting down there too. You're getting down in the lower, you're definitely in the lower keys now. And what's great about this area is that it's, um, sort of unspoiled, undeveloped, um, it is our natural, as you say, natural keys area. So a lot of, you'll see a lot of outfitters take folks up from Key West to do kayaking um, out into this just spectacular scenery, uh, lots of wildlife, sea life, uh, bird nesting sanctuary. So it's a really neat place for folks that really want to experience that kind of eco tourism, uh, ex you know, vibe and experience paddle boarding and, and kayaking and stuff. Um, you can also have rent boats from there, small center console type boats that are easy to, to manage um, and, and pilot yourself out to some remote islands. And it's just like, wow, like you're on another planet. So it's, it's really special out there. Um, sparsely populated. Um, it does contain the key deer, which is a endangered species. So it's protected with all that, that, that being an endangered species affords. So you have to slow way down when you drive through here. Um, and these deer are very unique to the Keys. They're actually different than deer that you have in Michigan or anywhere else there. They've adapted over the years to become these small kind of large dogs. They don't look, you know, they're, they're tiny deer. They're very cute and you'll see them walking around. So that's why the speed limit goes way down through there to protect them. Uh, that's the key deer. And, um, yeah, what can I say? I mean, what else can I say? Well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm going on here. Yeah, no, it's great. Um, it seems like like that particular section really just kind of has its own person. Um, each key has its own personality, but it's definitely unique in that it's less populated and just so natural. Um, would you say that, um, like, how about staying there? Do many people go there and stay or is it more of a destination from the other keys? Yeah, so yes and yes, I guess. <laughs> I You know, for sure it is... Uh, popular to leave out of Key West, which is kind of the quote unquote big city, um, but not really. Uh, but uh, but uh, a lot of the outfitters leave from here and, and take folks up there to experience it for the day. Um, there are a couple of lodging possibilities up there, but it gets pretty, it's pretty bare bones as far as traditional, you know, hotel type experiences. But what is kind of popular there are vacation home rentals. Excellent. Um, so you can really, if you really want to get away from it all, bring a boat down and have a dock. You know, most of the vacation rentals have docks or on a canal kind of thing. So you can get access to the water yourself. And so that's the kind of vacation we see a lot of folks taking up there, right. um, private home rental stuff. Awesome. And, um, yeah. Um, so what is one, like, you just can't miss it if you're going to the natural keys. What is something that, you know, people really need to do when they're there? Jeez, you know, just get really and truly getting out to the back country, we call it, which is um, Bayside here. I mean, there are a couple of folks that'll take you out to some reefs off of there, but again, the reefs are accessible anywhere in the keys. Um, and they're nice, of course, there too, but, 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 what I often tell people is to get out into the White Heron National Refuge, either by kayak um, with an outfitter or uh, with your own uh, rental, uh, providing, you know, <laughs> you're, you know, you can manage a small boat and, you know, it's not difficult. Um, so, so that will be my, my, my call for sure. Awesome. Don't miss that. Um, and uh, if you are looking to, for a real kind of splurge worthy adventure or experience there. There is our only, uh, I guess our highest, highest end property in the entire keys called little Palm Island. And it's a 30, 
Tahitian South Sea uh, style huts, oh, not huts. <laughs> yeah, they're, it's pretty spectacular. Um, that is in right there in Big Pine area. You take a boat out there and it's a private island. So wow. awesome. that's for, for the, for the, for those looking to splurge <laughs> and that is adults only too, like the bu uh, bungalows. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I mean, that's, you know, don't roar through there, uh, and just drive through it, you know, um, it makes spend some plan to spend some time there. Uh, if you're a nature lover, especially. Right. Um, yeah. And I've, I've also heard, um, sometimes people will go to Key West and they'll go up to, um, the natural keys to do, uh, Bahia Honda, the state park with the beaches there too. The, right. That's up, that's up in that direction. Yes, that's yeah. right. Absolutely. Yeah, Thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. That's just past Big Pine. No, you're right. Bahia, Bahia Honda is, uh, it's one of the nicest beaches we actually have in the keys. Um, yeah, it's lovely. It's a state park. You can actually, um, for those of you who like to RV, um, you can book, call ahead and book an RV slot and they fill up. Boy, it's, it's pretty beautiful. Uh, the pictures of the, cause there's actually an old railroad bridge span that's been decommissioned that sort of juts out from, from Bahia, Bahia Honda park. And it's uh, really picturesque. Uh, part of the old railroad system and uh, in the winter the I don't know what they do but call call ahead the state park there and book a slot if you are an RV person and they do they allow tenting so you got the campers that want to just go for it right on the beach so the sites are literally on the water and you go for it <laughs> so it's a little bit different than camping in Michigan we camp here but um, we camp on the Great Lakes and there's big pine trees and it's cold so <laughs> I right. would imagine it's quite a unique experience <laughs> it is I've done it it's pretty fun so cool awesome well guys uh, Markham thank you so much um, sure. really fun talking about the natural keys today um, and the guys of course as always um, we'll be attaching some more cool stuff after this video for you guys to uh, learn a little bit more about the natural keys and make sure you join us tomorrow Tomorrow's kind of our grand finale cherry on top. We're talking about Key West. So make sure you come back tomorrow and uh, Markham will be here too. And we're going to talk all about Key West. So, all right, guys, thank you so much. We'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Hey guys, it's Emily again. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that information with Markham today um, on our fourth day of our virtual vacation. Um, pretty interesting, right? Learning about the natural keys. Um, definitely not one of the uh, main tourist places to go, but definitely one of those really cool can't miss um, Florida Keys to go check out. Um, so once again, I've got some great videos for you guys um, about the natural keys. So let me share that with you. And then um, as always, I will share some cool links with you guys uh, to check out. And um, yeah, let's check this out. Look at that water. So I believe that this is actually flying over um, the bird sanctuary that Markham was talking about. Uh, you can either rent boats or go out on tours, uh, get a rent, go out on a boat tour out through those paddle boarding, kayaking. Here's the super cute key deer again. I threw a sunset in here for you guys. Look how incredible that is. There's our lovely video for you about the natural keys. So um, again, after this, I will attach links for you guys for Bahia Honda State Park uh, and the Key Deer Refuge, which is really cool. Um, 
And uh, like Marco was discussing, you can rent charters from either Key West or from Marathon and head down and explore the um, beautiful natural keys in the water there. Um, you could easily spend so much time hanging out and just enjoying just the beautiful nature down there. So um, also one other thing that I wanted to share with you while you're there, uh, my restaurant, rec restaurant recommendation for you is called Hogfish Bar and Grill. Um, just a really great little restaurant right there that's um, just really um, just fresh seafood and um, beautiful views from there. So um, again, guys, if you guys have any questions, obviously, you know where to reach me. And um, I hope that the natural crews make it on your list for your next trip to the Keys. So um, and that's what we have today for day four of our virtual vacation and um, you definitely don't want to miss tomorrow. Day five is our grand finale as we talk about Key West. So uh, near and dear to my heart. But um, I hope you guys have been enjoying this. I've been having so much fun this week uh, going on this um, little virtual vacation and just soaking in all that sunshine. And um, I just, I can't wait for my trip. And um, I hope you guys are getting excited too. So all right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.